Hello. Okay. So um, we were just talking about the, I mean, uh, I always reference, <laughs> I always reference videos we just did, but We've already uh, done. it doesn't matter to you. So if you have a key coming in, if you press a key on the keyboard, you get that number from the key object. How do you, how do you filter the numbers so that only the key that you want, like if you want the F key to play a sound file, but none of the other keys to play a sound file, how do you filter out, um, how do you uh, filter out just the F key? So there's an object called select that does just that, and that's all it does. If we look at the help file for select, it says outputs bangs based on input matching. What that means is select will listen for a specific number to happen, and when it hears that number, it'll say, I heard the number. That's all it does. Mm -hmm. Number. Or if it, if, it, if it listens for a number and it's not the number it's listening for, it'll say, I heard a number, but it wasn't the number I was listening for. It's not correct. So, <clears throat> yeah. So in this case here, in this first demo, we've got uh, select 103. So basically, this object is just sitting there listening for any input that comes into it. And if it's 103, then it sends a bang out its first outlet, which is its like, yes, outlet. And if it uh, if it's not a 103, it will send um, it'll send a report a bang out the the right outlet, which is you know like the, I call it the junk outlet. Everything that doesn't match comes out that right outlet. So uh, like if we put a 77 in there and hit return, it says no. The, I don't know if you saw the bang went off there. I'll just I'll just hit the up arrow to go to the next number up. So 79, no, 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 all these are no, they're not the right answer. But if we type in a 103 here, let's just scroll up to 103, 102, 103 there, it said yes. And if we hit return again, oh, you actually have to type 103, yes. Okay, so select is just a listener. If it matches, it says yes, it matches. That's pretty useful actually. Mm -hmm. So um, the next demo over here, this uh, select blue, you can actually put a whole word in there or what in Max world we call a symbol. So you can, uh, I just typed in blue, so it's gonna look for um, that word to come across. And so if I hit red, it says, no, that's not blue. Uh, but if I hit blue here, it says, yes, that is blue. Um, green doesn't match, yellow doesn't match. Uh, you can listen to the next thing over here. You can listen for multiple things. So here I'm listening for one, two, five, and nine. And for every argument here, it's going to generate a new output. It always generates, the last one is always the sort of catch-all output for stuff that doesn't match. But uh, if I put one, two, five, nine, those four arguments are each going to get their own output and they're going to happen in that same order. So uh, this is the output for one, this is the one for two, this is the one for five, and this is the one for nine. And they don't need to be in increasing order. It could be nine, five, one, sixteen, or whatever, it doesn't right. matter. Um, it could be one, two, five, blue, or something. So, um, <clears throat> but this is the same as having like four separate select objects. So when I hit one, it matches out the first outlet. Two matches out the second outlet. Five will match out the third outlet, and nine out the fourth outlet. A ninety-nine. What do you think is going to happen? I don't know. I don't see ninety-nine on there, so I'm going to say it's going to dump it. It's going to dump it out the right outlet. There we go. Um, and then you can always just sort of put a bunch of numbers in there. I believe, and I'm just wondering right now, I think the junk outlet doesn't just report a bang, it actually outputs the numbers. Is that true? Yes, it does. Which can be useful. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's hook it up to the key object. So now I have key uh, is reporting whatever numbers I press on the keyboard, and then I have the F key. Uh, which is ASCII code 102. Uh, 103 is the G key and 104 is the H key. So I think I can F, oh, this, you know, this is wrong. This should actually be the lowercase lower case F. Because um, ASCII capital and lowercase are different ASCII codes. So F key here, G key here, and H key here. And now I can mm -hmm. use these to trigger specific, to attach specific actions in Max to specific key presses on the keyboard. And so just to reiterate though, and you actually already said it, with this uh, system here, you could have done something similar where instead of saying select one, two, five, nine, it says select 101, 102, 104, yep. or whatever, and yeah. it'll give you an outlet for each of those. Right, it's so really... So it's the same way, but just 
yeah. parsed out. You could do it either way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could have multiple arguments in here, or you could use multiple select objects. It's Such really as Max, stylistic. Right? It's just yeah. a stylistic thing. Uh, I can't. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of a reason why. A million ways to do the same yeah. thing. Yeah, there's always. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I, I do it both ways. Do, doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool.